Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Genius Academy. Friends, this is nothing but the traditional machine shop that is having all the different traditional machines such as the lathe machine, milling machine, drilling, shaping. All the machines are the old ones, the traditional ones, upon which operator needs to work manually. They needs to carry out the all the operations manually, such as manually drilling, manually facing, taping, turning. everything every operation is manual so over here the production rate is less okay it consumes more time to carry out the uh, to give you the finished product on the other side this one is nothing but the cnc shop which is having all the computerized numeric control machines such as cnc lathe machine cnc vertical milling cnc horizontal milling cnc shapers so all the machines are cnc machines so from this traditional to cnc machine shop the journey is there and in this particular video friends we are going to learn about that journey so initially in the stone age okay we used to have bullock carts in the earlier days then we have made this uh, normal car okay like which we are using right now and in this near future we will be able to use the autonomous car the self driving car driverless cars so these are the you know the innovation this is the industrial revolution so similarly in case of a machine shop okay in order to improve the productivity in order to improve the accuracy okay in order to maintain interchangeability so this traditional machines like traditional lathe machine milling machine shapers and everything every traditional machine is replaced with nc machines this is not known as the numerically controlled machines so this in this particular machines the small small amount of the like the small operations they have uh, given some codes so this nc machines having a small computer which is attached to that particular machine in order to carry out a process a simple process so this particular machines uses the data storing devices such as the uh, a small strips such as which were uh, the earlier days uh, they are they have been using in this uh, tape recorders and everything so this particular strips having a small small punched holes and a reader is there that reader interprets the meaning of this uh, small small punched holes on the tape and then it sends the signal to the machine and then it carries carried out the operation so that was a basic numerically controlled machines because in that time during 19th century during uh, in uh, 1960s there were no advancement in computers basically in the later stage there was the advancement of the computers the old mac os macintosh kind of a system gets replaced with the windows xp windows uh, windows kind of a pcs hardwares and everything so then comes cnc which is known as the computerized numeric control so these machines were pretty advanced okay so in this machines they are having a higher degrees of freedom suppose in order to carry different different operations we can use a uh, different different sets of cutter likewise over here you can see this is a cnc uh, lathe machine over here different tools are there and we can carry out different different machining this is a computerized numeric control lathe machine so we can carry out multiple operations in this cnc machine in whereas in the earlier one that is in in case of nc machines we would be uh, we would be only able to carry out uh, the small set of operations which is having a lesser degrees of freedom like x y z and minus x minus y minus z that is the six degrees of freedom over here in case of lathe machine okay which is a computerized numerical control you can have maximum 9 to 12 degrees of freedom it means you can carry out the inclined drilling operation as well so 
basically this computerized numerical control over here the computer is attached to that particular machine a computer it is like a first we need to carry out a 3d model okay of the desired product then that particular 3d model gets converted into the cad cam software it uh, prepares this particular cad cam software prepares its process plan like what will be the reference point what will be the first operation then second operation third operation it gives the sequential uh, analytics it gives you the sequential uh, data input followed by the g codes and the m codes the g codes are nothing but the geographic information such as the coordinates of the cutting tool whereas m code it is uh, related to the machines it means coolant start stop machine on machine off so these m codes and g codes are their set of instructions were there so basically friends these all the codes will be the input the process plan gets prepared and then the computer interprets that particular process plan and gives instruction to the machine that is the ecu electronic control unit it gives the instruction to the cutting tool to carry out a different sets of operation so this is how a cnc machine works so this particular cnc machine the biggest advantage is that the increased production rate higher the production okay increased volume increased accuracy okay the super of uh, part which we are getting the finished product the finishing is very very on a higher side okay so this is nothing but the advantages of the cnc and the most advanced is nothing but the d and c which is not known as the direct numerical control so over here in case of the cnc you need to program it manually each and every machine you need to program it manually suppose you having a different different sets of machines suppose on a production shop you having a around 10 to 12 machines which are there carrying similar operations and producing a unique part in mass production so in that particular scenario we can implement the dnc direct numeric control over here you don't need each and every system each and every machine or computer you know don't need to have a provider you can connect all the machines to a single server and can access all the data through that particular single server by using the lan or network cables so this is nothing but the dnc means you can carry out you know a uh, lot of operations you can monitor all the machines at a single click so this is nothing but the dnc so friends in this particular video we have seen nc numerical control cnc computerized numerical control and the dnc direct numerical control this three type of the machines and the evolution that we have seen in this video so i hope you have uh, no further doubts regarding nc cnc and dnc so thank you so much friends for watching this educational video please subscribe to my channel engineers academy